Hey there, tarot tubers. April here on Tarot and Witchery. And I thought I would do like a series on tarot tips. Just my thoughts as I come across them as I'm filming or whatever. Anyway, so tarot tips. This one is on cards that make you uncomfortable. So, you know, like when you're, you're doing a reading and you flip over some cards and then there's just like maybe one card in there that you're like, ew, like I didn't really expect to see that. Like a relationship reading and you see like death or the 10 of swords, right? You know, cards that just are making you uncomfortable. And so I have two ideas for this and I use both of them depending on where I'm at. So sometimes if I have cards out and I see that like, that's just that card right there is making me uncomfortable, I will flip it over. I will just, I will tell myself, look, I'm gonna get to that card when I get to it, it's okay. I don't need to do that right now. I'm just gonna flip it over and let it be knowing that when, when I read the rest of the cards, this is all gonna to come together. Some of you are capable of doing that. Some of you are gonna be like, that's just way too hard for me. And you can use my second method, which is just address that card right away. Really look at that card and ask yourself, why is that card making me uncomfortable in this reading? Like what about it is making me uncomfortable? Is this an outcome that I don't really wanna entertain? Uh, is this just a card I'm uncomfortable with because I don't really know it? Like I'm not, you know, there's certain tarot cards that I'm less comfortable with still. Uh, after all these years that I'm like, this is a card that I just don't have a super personal connection with. So when it comes up, it feels vague and that could be kind of threatening, like especially if you're really seeking guidance. So just getting clear on why you feel uncomfortable about it, I think is a great way to go. It, it just helps to sort of acknowledge it, like get it out in the light and acknowledge like I do feel comfortable. I don't want to even think about the idea that my relationship could be over, <laughs> you know, or whatever it is. And I think just by doing that, you allow your mind to kind of get that out of the way and then you can move on to the rest of the reading and see what's resonating, what's not, what it all means. I guess tip number three, oh, I lied. Tip number three, when this happens, go ahead and do your reading leave the cards out and come back the next day and say, you know, okay, do I feel differently about it? Does it look differently to me? Was I just in a mood? Or is there really something here that I wasn't seeing at the time? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I also want to encourage you to check out my other playlists and my scary tarot cards uh, series that I've been doing. I think those are super fun and you may get some insights on cards that oftentimes are scary or have the scary thematic elements and how you work with them. Until we meet again, may you have the bravery to face the cards that really freak you out. <laughs>